Well, grace and peace to you. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, in light of everything that's been happening this past week, I found myself with a little bit more unstructured time at home, and so I have been trying to find ways to fill my time uh, beyond working and being a parent. So I've noticed uh, that I have been working on the ukulele just a little bit more than normal, and that's saying something. I have been reading more books, books that I didn't have time to read when I was so busy with other uh, events that are happening. I have been uh, trying to get to house projects uh, but in any case, what I've seen this week is that I am trying to use this extra time that has been given to me. And I'm sure that all of us are trying to do that as we adjust to this new normal of social distancing. Let's keep that in mind as we continue our series on the Lord's Prayer, because today we're going to talk about what Jesus meant when he directed us to uh have God forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And there's a very uh, significant concept in this. We are allowed to forgive others because God has forgiven us. So when we pray to God, forgive us our debts, we are calling on God to fulfill God's promise to forgive us, to do what is necessary for us to be in a relationship with him. This is the grace that we have been given in Jesus Christ. And because we have been given this grace, because we have been given this amazing and abundant love in Jesus Christ, we are now able to go out and forgive our debtors. It's because God has given us so much love, we are able to then go out and pursue relationships to love and to forgive others because God has forgiven us. And so when we look at this story in Genesis, Joseph, uh, this is the end of the story with Joseph and his brothers, and it's this moment where Joseph tells his brothers who he is uh, after they have made their way back to Egypt. Joseph, who was sold into slavery by his brothers, uh, who was left for dead by his brothers. And there's this moment, it's this beautiful moment that we read today that Joseph chose to forgive his brothers. And the reason that he chose to forgive his brothers is because he saw God working throughout the entire story. And so with that gratitude, with that abundance of love and care that God showed Joseph throughout the whole story, he was able to do what was necessary to continue a relationship with his brothers. Now, we might have people in our lives that we are called to forgive right now. And that's really important for us to do, but I want to take this concept a little bit broader, especially as we find ourselves in this new normal, as we are uh, struggling to adjust to uh, the reality that for, at the very least, the next few weeks, we are going to have to be uh, distancing ourselves from others. And we've seen schools are closing, restaurants are closing. Uh, the things that we normally like to do, we're not able to do for the moment. And that's tough. It's inconvenient. It has uh, even introduced some stress and anxiety in our lives. But what we are doing is sacrificing our, our convenience, sacrificing uh, our, our comfort for the sake of others. The reason that we are now isolating ourselves and trying to keep up this social distance is to give our most vulnerable a chance to limit the access to people who might infect them. We are also trying to uh, keep separate and keep isolated so that we give our medical workers a chance to get through this season without having our medical system be overrun. And I want us to understand that as we are uh, taking steps to be socially distant, to isolate ourselves, uh, it is hard, it's a sacrifice, but this is an act of love. It's a way for us to be caring for others. God has cared for us. God has given us his love and abundance. And now it's up to us to take that abundance and care for one another. And quite frankly, right now, 
the best way for us to care for one another is to stay at home, to observe uh, the encouragement and the directives from our government, to, to stay away, to give ourselves a chance to get through this season uh, it, it, with the best shot possible for us to, to stay healthy and to make sure our brothers and sisters in Christ are uh, able to stay healthy as well. So this is an act of care. It's an act of kindness. It's an act of love that we have this opportunity to show others. So my prayer for us is that in the midst of our anxiety, in the midst of our inconvenience, in the midst of our fears about what is happening, let us take confidence that the steps that we are taking right now is actually an act of love to others. God has given us love and care. We now have the opportunity to love and care for others. We pray that God has forgiven us our debts. Now let's work to forgive our debtors, to take care of those around us. And I guarantee you that in the process, we will discover God's love in a new way. And that's my prayer for us as we continue our Lenten journey through the Lord's Prayer. Let's pray. God, I thank you so much for loving us so much that you have forgiven us, that you have made it possible for us to have a relationship with you where you love us and you care for us. And so now I pray that you give us the courage and the opportunity to forgive our debtors, whether that means actual forgiveness of something that has been done to us or whether that also means caring for one another in any way, shape, or form that we can in this moment, right here, right now. And as we continue to go through this season of uncertainty and anxiety, we proclaim that you are our God and that no matter how scary things get here, we know that you will continue to care for us. You will continue to guide us you will continue to lead us to your son, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.